So once we're able to solve very basic inequalities, linear inequalities, we really want to up the ante a bit and then start looking at dealing with uh, more complicated algebra so that we're not getting uh, worried by the fact that there's an inequality sign there. Okay. So I want to go through these four examples uh, in increasing levels of difficulty, just so that we're kind of we get used to dealing with brackets and negatives and fractions. Okay, um, and the more we do this without a calculator, the better I think. Um, so if we have a look at number one, we've got three minus two x uh, is less than or equal to five minus seven x. So in this, really what you want to do is you want to move the x's onto one side of the inequality, much like you would an equation. It makes sense to make it uh, positive for ourselves. So I'm going to add 7x to both sides. So we're going to have 3, and then minus 2x plus 7x is plus 5x. And that's going to be less than or equal to 5 still. And minus 7x is gone. Subtract the 3 from both sides and then divide both sides by 5. So x is less than or equal to 2 fifths. Okay, so I mean that's only a little bit harder than the ones that we were looking at in the previous video, uh, but it's not challenging for us. Okay, so let's start introducing some brackets. Uh, 4 lots of 2 minus 3x is greater than 5 minus 2 lots of 4 minus x. So really you want to expand the brackets first so 4 lots of 2 is 8, 4 lots of minus 3x is minus 12x. We've still got the greater than, then we've got 5, okay, that stays where it is, minus 2 lots of 4, so 8, and then minus 2 times minus x is plus 2x. That's the bit that's going to usually catch people out. So let's tidy this up a little bit. Um, the left-hand side can stay as it is. We've got 5 take away 8, so minus 3. It's got the 2x there. Now I'm going to move the x's onto the right-hand side of the inequality to make them all positive. So we've got 8 is greater than minus 3. Uh, 12x plus 2x is 14x. Then you can add the 3 to both sides. And then you can divide both sides by 14. So x has to be great. Uh, sorry, x has to be less than 11 fourteenths, or 11 fourteenths is greater than x, whichever way around you want to read it. Okay, so that's the first two. Right. So now we're going to start dealing with fractions. We've got three plus two x over five. Take away three is less than eight plus x over three. So really, what you want to do is you want to get rid of the fractions. So I'm going to multiply everything by 5 so that I get rid of this fraction here. I've got this fraction over here as well. I could multiply everything through by 3 first if I like. It doesn't make a difference. But I'm going to multiply through by 5 because that's the first one on the left. So we've got 3 plus 2x. Because I've multiplied that by 5, I now just have the 3 plus 2x, the numerator. I've got to multiply the 3 by 5, so I've got minus 15. Then I've got less than 8 plus x over 3. Now I've got to multiply that by 5 as well. Now remember, when you're multiplying uh, whole numbers by fractions, so 5 times 2 thirds, for example, the 5 multiplies with the numerator only because 5 is 5 over 1. And when you multiply fractions, you multiply the numerators and then multiply the denominators. OK? So I'm going to do exactly the same thing here. That 5 will only multiply with the 8 plus x. The 3 stays where it is. So I'm going to have 5 lots of 8, so 40. 5 lots of x, 5x. And that's still over 3. Now, it makes sense to tidy up uh, the left-hand side because I've got this 3 and the minus 15. So if I've got 3, then take away 15, I'm going to have minus 12. OK, so this is my situation now. So now I want to get rid of this fraction over here. So I'm going to multiply everything through by 3. So I'm going to have 6x minus 36 is less than 40 plus 5x. 
So now I'm going to move all the x's onto the left-hand side. If I take 5x from both sides, I've got x minus 36 is less than 40. So x is less than 76. And that solves the inequality. Now, you could have done all the multiplication through in one step by multiplying both sides by 15, the 5 and the 3 combined. Um, you can do it that way. It's really down in your confidence again uh, about manipulating those fractions. If you want to do it step by step as I've done it, you're more than welcome. Okay. Personally, uh, to keep track of everything, I would take a couple more steps just to make sure that I'm happy with what's going on. So number four, we've got 2 plus x over 3, take away 3 minus 4x over 5, plus 1 minus 2x over 2 is less than 3. Now we're going to deal with this in much the same way as I dealt with number 3. So I'm going to multiply everything by each of those denominators in turn. So I'm going to multiply everything through by 3 to start off with. So I've got 2 plus x over 3 multiplied through by 3 is just 2 plus x. Couldn't write the 2 first time. There we are. Let's try it again. Now, I've also got to multiply everything in this fraction by 3. But remember, it's, it's that numerator that I affect, not the denominator. So 3 lots of 3 is 9. 3 lots of minus 4x is minus 12x. And that's still over 5. I'm also multiplying this fraction by 3, so plus 3 lots of 1, so 3, 3 lots of minus 2x, so minus 6x, and the 2 doesn't get affected. The 3 on the right-hand side does. 3 lots of 3 is 9. Now, just to make sure that we're happy with that, because this minus sign here, remember I multiply everything through by 3, so it just affects the numerator, not the denominator. That minus sign stays where it is, OK? So that minus sign is that one there. I would next multiply everything through by 5 to get rid of this fraction. So I'm going to have 10 plus 5x. Now this I've got to be careful with. Because of this minus being outside the fraction and that minus being inside. So I've still got minus 9, so it's effectively like having a bracket around it, OK? I've still got this minus 9, but I've got takeaway minus 12x, so plus 12x. The 5 affects the numerator of this fraction, so I get 15 minus 30x over 2. And 5 lots of 9 is 45. Right, so I best tidy up before I go any further. I've got 5x and 12x makes 17x. 10 take away 9 is 1. I've got the 15 minus 30x over 2, and that's going to be less than 45. So the next stage is to multiply everything through by 2. So I'm going to get 34x plus 2 plus 15 minus 30x, because the numerator just remains. And then that's going to be less than 90. So now I can tidy up the left-hand side. 34x take away 30x is 4x. 2 plus 15 is 17. Is less than 90. Take the 17 from both sides. That will get me down to uh, 73. So 4x is less than 73. And then divide both sides by the 4. Okay. And that solves number four.